hello hello welcome back to another video and to my kitchen um this is not how i envisaged filming this video um you're gonna have to excuse the mess we've literally had the floor done like yesterday and we're like in the middle of painting and things but i needed the table because today we're going to be looking at whether i read the 10 books i picked off of the 100 books bucket list last year uh, and choosing 10 more for next year because of course you do i have had f all time to film this week and so i have rudy in the background ah who's just dropped a kong on my foot we also have another assistant say hello charlie so without any further ado, let's have a little look. I'm just gonna have to sort of hold it up for you, I think. Hello. Okay, so I might be ready. So from the first row, I chose, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Which I have read. I have also read The Complete Art of War by Sun Tzu. And I think that's it from the top row. I oh, know, and I've read A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. So I read the one I wanted to read and an extra two. So I'm going to scratch those off now. Uh, can okay, so from that top row, it now looks quite complete, the top row. It's not obviously not completely complete. Those are the three we have left. And I think the one I'm going to select for 2023 from this row is... Siddhartha by Herman Hess. Oh, I love it. I love the TikTok one. Oh, I love the TikTok one too. The book was rubbish though. Right, so from the second row, the book that I selected was Noughts and Crosses uh, by Mallory Blackman, but I have not read that. Um, so I've read nothing from that row. So I'm just going to put... <laughs> Not as across as back on the TBR for 2023 and make sure I prioritise that one. Okay, so from the third row, this is the pr a real slapdash video. So you have to excuse me, but uh, knees bust. Um, I chose Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. And I did read that. I don't think I read any of the others though. But yes, I read Lolita is the point. Okay, so there is Lolita. Uh, so the book that I'm going to choose for 2023, I think I'm going to choose The Colour Purple by Alice Walker because my mum has been wanging on about me reading that book for literally years. So that is going to be my choice for next year. So then if we move to the next row, uh, The Old Man and the Sea was the book that I chose for 2022, and I have read that. Let's see if I've read any others. Oh, and I've read I Capture the Castle by Daly Smith, which I've literally read this month for the FOMO Book Club. So two from that row. Woohoo! So we scratched off the Old Man and the Sea and I Capture the Castle. And I think from this row for 2023, I think I might go for, whoop, my finger doesn't know where it's going, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, because I have absolutely no idea what that book is about. Who even wrote it? Hunter S. Thompson. So if you know anything about that book, then uh, let me know, because I know nothing. So from the next row, I chose Wild Swans, but I did not get to it. But I think I have read some others from this row. So oh, I have read The Poison of the Bible Mama. and The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. So yeah, I did read two from there, just not the one I selected. And I'm actually going to change my pick for 2023. And I'm going to change to Crime and Punishment 
by Dostoevsky because I have a buddy read of that planned <laughs> with um, Alice at the giant bookshelf and Sandy at Miss Reads Lot. So um, I know that will get read. So I'm going to add that to the 2023 list. So there we go, Poisonwood Bible and The War of the Worlds are both scratched off. Oh, and then, no, I have yeah, hang on. And then from the next row, I chose Flowers for Old Janon, which I have not read. And I haven't read any of the others from this row, but I'm going to put Flowers for Old Janon Don't do my one. by Daniel Keyes back on the yeah, list for 2023. So yeah, bit of a fail on that. So from this next row, I chose... Whoop. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, and I did read that. And I've also read The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. Uh, so, hashtag winning for this row. Um, and I think for 2023, I'm going to go for My Man Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse. I'm pretty sure I've heard Scott at Gunpowder Fiction and Plot talk about this book. Uh, or this author. So I'm going to give that one a whirl. Okay, so there we go. The Count of Monte Cristo and the Mill on the Floss are scratched off. Okay, then from this row, doo -doo 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 -doo, I chose last year Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I actually DNF this, but I think it was more because it was an audio book, so I'm going to try it in physical format at some point, but I'm not going to choose that for the 2023 list. I'm going to choose Goodnight Mr. Tom, because again, I know I'm going to read that one because it is for my FAMO book club. So coming down again to this one and the Kite Runner I put on, and I still haven't read it, and I really don't know why, because I know that I will like it. Um, so I'm going to just bump this one again to 2023. And then from the bottom list, I chose The Odyssey by Hamer, which I did read. I read It was one of the first books I read in um, 2022. Uh, so I need to choose one for 2023. There's quite a lot of big books down here. Um, <clears throat> but I think I might go for A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I historically don't like Charles Dickens but I feel like it's time to give him another go so that's the one I'm going to put on my list for 2023. Okay so there we go the Odyssey is all scratched off and that my friends is that. So there were three that I didn't get to um the Kite Runner, Wild Swans, oh no four um Midnight's Children and Noughts and Crosses. Mm, yeah, there were four. Um, but I did read five extra ones um, that weren't on my 2022 list, which were A Brief History of Time, The Complete Art of War, I Capture the Castle, The Poisonwood Bible, and War of the Worlds. Oh, and The Mill on the Floss. I think that was five extra. Um, so, all in all, I think I did okay. So, the list, just a reminder, the list for 2023 is Siddhartha by Herman Hess, Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson, Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky, Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes, My Man Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse, Goodnight Mr. Tom by Michelle McGorian, the Kite Runner by Callan Hussini, and A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. So, let me know if you've read any of those that are on my list for 2023, or just any of the books that are on this poster in general that you recommend, um, or don't, <laughs> either either. And uh, yeah, we'll see how 2023 goes, shall we? And I will see you again soon with another one. Bye guys!